Thank you. But, but I have fond memories, too, of Ryan, but it's most of you and I playing pool at ZBT House. So I don't know what <laughs> stories he's been telling you. I also knew uh, Rabbi Schmidt when he was considerably heavier. And, you know, rabbis who are heavier are usually a lot more fun. I'm just putting that out there. You'll have to decide. So he got thinner, a little meaner, and I got to be more jolly. But have any of you seen him play the guitar? I mean, a jam session? It's something out of ZZ Top, literally. And uh, uh, I remember very fondly uh, my time here uh, at Penn in general, uh, but certainly here at, uh, at this Lubavitch house, they were, um, how should I put it, indefatigable at dragging everybody to this place. And what you need, and you have that in Chabad, and there are many Chabad rabbis here, they are, they go out into the world and they just don't take no for an answer. They don't take no for an answer. I called them, I gave a speech at a big Chabad event, and I said they're kind of like the Jewish version of Starbucks. They're kind of on every corner. But the guys who work at Starbucks don't walk outside and grab you and tell you to, to come in and have a cup of coffee and sit with them and talk to them and learn something with them. And what Chabad has done is truly remarkable. Uh, not just in uh, Jewish history, in modern Jewish history, but in the history of social movements and the success they've had, the openness, the inclusivity, being able to bring people in. And so I'm very honored to be here when you're opening up this uh, new house. And I'm sure just as it did for me in much more meager settings. I just want to say as a general rule, when I was here 25 years ago at Penn, it was not this nice. <laughs> the campus was not this nice. This house was not this nice. So why is it that when I leave, everything becomes much nicer? But I wish that you will be as successful in the future as you've been in the past. And I um, am honored that I was able to participate with the first Jewish Heritage uh, Fellow some, I guess it's going on 20, almost 25 years ago already. I'm getting pretty old. And I want to thank all of you for coming. Uh, I wouldn't have come when I was your age. Honestly, <laughs> I'm just telling you. So you're already ahead of me. So one of you will probably be the prime minister. You won't even be an ambassador. <laughs> when I was at campus, it was, Israel wasn't uh, the big controversy. I was here between 89 uh, and 93. It wasn't a time of great uh, strife. You had the so-called first intifada at that time, but it wasn't, it was very rare where you had a problem on Israel on campus. At least I didn't sense it at the time. And if you would have asked me here whether or not I would one day move to Israel, I would have told you no chance. The fact that I'm standing here today as Israel's ambassador to the United States just goes to tell you, any of you who think that you know what you're going to do and what you know what you're going to be, you're probably wrong. And my, my advice to you is just learn think, and wherever you're going to go, you're going to go. And find something that you're very passionate about and follow it.